So what I'm saying is, we can find ourselves, put limb in ourselves. What I'm saying is, we can find ourselves, put, we can find ourselves living inside of this box, but we're not motivated to do anything. Like we're just so fine and cool with just living a basic, mediocre life. God gave, see, oh, this is God gave everyone talents. There was no person on this world that is doesn't have a talent. Everyone is uniquely made. Everyone is, everyone is is, is well thought of when they was in their mother's womb. Okay, so what I'm saying is, I, it is the enemy's design to keep our minds in a square, oppressed, depressed state. Could you imagine if everyone in this world was living up to the talents which God had put in their heart? Could you imagine? Could you imagine the great things that could be accomplished if everyone was motivated, everyone was living outside the box, everyone was thinking outside the box? See, listen to this. Miserable people, miserable people do not think outside the box. Miserable people do not live outside the box. And miserable people try to do things to keep you from living your life outside of the box. You understand what I'm saying? For example, let's say you got a dream, you got this vision, and you say, yo, I want to see this vision come through. I want this new thing happening in my life. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to listen to you. The worst thing you can do is broadcast on a hilltop everything you got going on. You say, well, people are going to hate on you regardless. Yes, that's inevitable. But you do not want that negative stuff coming towards you because listen, you can share your dream with a total, total stranger. You can share your dream with a total stranger and that stranger will get your vision. But you can share your dream with the closest people to you and they will hate on what prompt God put in you and you'll find yourself going deeper and deeper and deeper into a place that you don't want to be and that place is a closed box because your validation comes from who you your success is going to come you think that your success is going to come from the closest people to you but it's not your success is going to come from God and, and once you start depending on God's plan and really like following the pattern that he set before you and not the pattern that you think that other people have for you then you're going to find success man listen I've lived my life so much outside the box inside of a box even doing this YouTube thing People have hated on it and, and, and hated on it. People close to me, people close to me don't even support this channel. And it's fine. I'm okay with that because I am not closed inside of a box. My this box, this idea, this, this, this way of thinking that people want you to have is not the vision on the plan that God got for you. So boom. It's like now I'm out here downtown Cary, beautiful park. I'm downtown Cary vlogging. People stopping and wanting to know what's going on. Dude stop me earlier. <laughs> Excuse me. How do I know? How do I know if I'm not gonna miss my blessing if I don't get outside and do the, the vision and become a part of what God got for me? Live outside of the box. Don't just think outside of the box. Live outside of the box. And 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 that living outside of the box comes from comes from something that God implant in us. Walk in the talent, walk in the vision that God placed in on you in your heart from the day of birth. And watch, as you do that, do obey God. I'm not gonna leave that out, obeying God, but watch how you grow as a person. Think about that.